in Thai, when they say to bring your mind to the meditation object, they say to lift your mind. You're lifting your mind to a higher level. It's not concerned with the affairs of people around you. It's concerned with the goodness you can develop inside, instead of the pleasures of sight, sound, smells, taste, tactile sensations. You're looking for the pleasure of form, the pleasure that you can feel it within the body itself. And you're also looking for the pleasure that comes when the mind knows that it's doing something good. It can look at its actions and not see anything to criticize. There's a strong sense of well-being that comes with that. And so remember, you're lifting the level of your mind. A lot of people are born as human beings, and it seems like they're determined to go back down to the lower levels. Because what's good about being a human being is that you can do a lot of good. The problem is you can also do a lot of harm. And a lot of people are looking for happiness in ways where they don't care what the harm they're doing is going to do to others. They go for what they can. And for a lot of people, simply fear prevents them from following all their desires. But when we realize that our actions are going to have consequences, and the consequences are going to come back at us, we start getting more responsible about our search for happiness. And our concern about the consequences of actions, that comes from our conviction that the Buddha really didn't know what he was talking about. Your actions do have results now and on into the future, so you've got to be really careful about what you do. And that's a quality of a deva, that conviction. It goes together with generosity, virtue, discernment, learning the Dharma. All these things lift your level of mind from a human level to a deva level. You don't have to be reborn as a deva. You've got the qualities of a deva inside the mind. That gives a strong sense of well-being. So as you follow the path, and there are times when it seems dry, remember you're doing something really good. You're lifting the level of your mind. And learn to appreciate that, because otherwise you're going to be grubbing around with everybody else. Think of that image that the Buddha had when he was still a young prince, a fish in a tiny puddle of water fighting one another with that last bit of water. You don't want to be one of those fish. You want to be the person standing outside, seeing what other people are doing, So I'm glad I'm not doing that. And so as you stick with the practice, find ways of giving yourself joy. As the Buddha said, when you look at your actions and see that you really are following in line with the practice, however much, take joy in that fact and keep on training. That will give energy to your practice and will increase the amount of pleasure you're getting along the way. <laughs>